the London 2012 Olympic Games are underway and the atmosphere across the city of London is electric. Millions of people have descended on the capital of Great Britain to take part in history, quite literally as the London 2012 Olympics is the first year ever that every nation has at least one female competitor representing them. However, you just need to take a look around at the world's media to see that the journalism industry has not yet caught up with the sporting world's approach to equality for women. Research shows that in the UK, female journalists very rarely progress to senior level roles in the media industry because the salary discrepancy is discouraging. In the United States, the lack of females entering senior level roles in journalism is more apparent. In fact, there is a greater gender disparity in the US compared to many other regions. There's obviously a huge discrepancy between males and females within the journalism industry. However, a survey conducted in 2005 actually found there was more women in the oceanic countries in journalism compared to any other countries around the world. Member of the European Parliament, Britta Thompson, believes that the same job roles should mean equal pay for both women and men. Before we spoke about equal work, but we should speak about work of the same value because women's work even that women have higher education than the men, is less paid. And this we have to change. It's not acceptable that women earn, uh, women um, uh, in women jobs, you earn less than in a male job. So this is not uh, acceptable. And therefore we want instruments so we can assess the value of the work and in that way get more uh, equal pay. For instance, in a workplace, you could uh, start assessing the jobs and see how you can adjust the payment. This is very important. They are doing that in Sweden, and I think this is a country in Europe that are more advanced in that. In some countries in Oceania, women are on par with men, and in some instances exceed the number of men at some levels of occupation. Even though this is encouraging, the ratio of men to women in the Oceanic countries is estimated to be around 3 to 1, especially in reporting roles. For the Reporters Academy, I'm Kyle Northern.